Sales has been co-opted by Hollywood, creating a stylized version of reality. Sharp suits and con men ways are portrayed as a profession. The truth is more prosaic, fundamental, and involves simple basics. Understanding buyer need and supplying it isn't that hard. But salespeople say and do dumb things instead. Today, we will look at some simple things every salesperson should be doing and some things they should definitely be avoiding. Welcome back to this weekly edition every Tuesday of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story. I'm the president of Dale Carnegie Training here in Japan and the best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery. We are bringing the show to you from our high performance center here in Akasaka, in Minato-ku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? In this show, we are looking at the critical areas for success in business in Japan. We want to help advance everyone's thinking so that we can be at the forefront, the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. Before we get into this week's topic, here is what caught my attention lately. In a recent government survey, 613,000 people in the 40 to 64 age bracket were found to be recluses who rarely leave their homes. This is even higher than a previous survey that found there were 541,000 in the 15 to 39 age bracket. Known as hikikomori in Japanese, these recluses number over a million people today. 66.6% .6 were men, nearly 50% lived that way for at least the last seven years. In 34% of cases, these hikikomori relied on their parents financially. In other news, Japanese are working longer and not retiring. The ratio of people with jobs amongst those in the 65 to 69 bracket is now 44%. The elderly accounted for nearly 12% of the nation's workforce, compared to only 7.8% in 2006. Of these aged 65 to 69, 72% were hired as irregular workers, and their pay had been reduced to 50 to 70% of what they used to earn as a full-time regular worker. In a cabinet office survey, 42% of people said they wanted to keep working as long as they can. Finally, SNBC Nikko Securities has launched a service for customers to advise on investment in Japanese stocks using artificial intelligence. They have teamed up with AI technology developer Herzog. The free AI-based service will show stock prices expected a month into the future. It will propose the best portfolios according to the client's risk appetite. This is episode number 77, and we are talking about sales delusions. Sorry, dewa ikimashou. So let's get going. Smoothly memorized shtick, elaborate, glossy materials, sharp suits, large expensive watches, bleached teeth, the perfect quaff are not important in sales. Yet, this is the image of the pro salesperson. Most of us never meet many pro salespeople because the vast majority we run into are hopeless. We meet the great unwashed and untrained, the part-time and partially interested, usually in a local retail format. The slick sales dude is what we see in the movies or is a received image from urban myths. Hollywood pumps out Wall Street, Glen Gary, Glen Ross, Boiler Room, the Wolf of Wall Street, and we get sold an image of what high pressure salespeople look like. Japan is fascinating and it throws up some doozies rotting blackened stumps for teeth, disheveled clothing, scuffed and worn shoes, ancient food stains on ties. You encounter this low level of professional presentation here with salespeople. It's almost the extreme opposite of the American movie image. Rat with a gold tooth or rat with rotting tooth neither appeal very much. 
What we buyers really want is someone on our side. We want help to solve issues slowing us down, holding us back or preventing us from growing as we would wish. There are six steps on the client journey with salespeople. Know you, like you, trust you, buy from you, repeat buy from you, and refer you because they are believers. This sounds simple, but salespeople get confused about who they are working for. They think they are there to work for themselves and get their commission or bonus or promotion, and the client is just a tool in that process. This is really stupid. I coach salespeople, but I'm amazed at the dumb things they say and do. Some want to jam the square peg in the round hole and then argue with the client about why it will not fit when it clearly doesn't. When they get pushed back from the client, then they try to overwhelm the objection by strength of will or force of personality. This is really, really stupid too. The salesperson jumps into the slide presentation on the laptop from the get-go, or they're pulling out their shiny flyers or expensive brochures or whatever, and are launching forth with their memorized shtick. My first sales job was early evening door-to-door -door Britannica encyclopedia sales in a poor working class suburb in Brisbane. Before we were unleashed on an unsuspecting semi-literate public, we had to memorize word for word the entire 25 minute presentation. It wasn't great then, but it is unacceptable now. Some people are still back in the 1970s with their sales efforts. I get sales prospecting calls even today telling me so-and-so is in my area. I can actually hear the cadence of them reading it off a script in front of them. Pathetic. Find out more when we come back from the break. If you want to sell more and do it more easily, do the Sales Advantage course. If you can't build trust, no sale. Can't design excellent questions to understand the client's needs, no sale. Can't present the solution convincingly, no sale. Can't handle objections properly, no sale. Can't close, no sale. Master the sales process by doing the Sales Advantage course now in either Japanese or English. The bestseller, Japan Sales Mastery, is the new Bible of selling in Japan. To sell to Japanese buyers, you need to create long-term partner-level trust, fully understand Japanese buyers' real needs, convince buyers with your solutions, overcome their hesitation, fear and doubt, know how to ask for the order, ensure repeat orders. This book is the product of 30 plus years in the trenches, selling in Japan. Order Japan Sales Mastery now. Welcome back. Let me introduce a couple of coming opportunities to you. On April 22nd, we will run the One Day Sales Booster Course Part 1. If that is too early for you, we'll run it again on November 11th. Now, part two of Sales Booster will run on August 5th. Details are on our website at enjapan.dalekani.com. Now, back to where we left off. When I am coaching aspirant professional salespeople, I ask them, how do they know which slides to show or which flyer they should offer to the client? This is usually greeted with a huh response. We all did show and tell in elementary school, but some have not traveled very far since then and think this is how you do sales. When I arrived with the Shinsei Retail Bank, the financial product sales team would whip out a flyer of one product, and if the wealthy client didn't go for it, well, they would just whip out the next one. This went on until the client either got tired of it or bought something. As salespeople, we don't know what to show the client, and we shouldn't show the client anything until we know what they want. So, keep the laptop closed, the flyers in the briefcase, the widget under the table, and ask questions instead. 
By the way, get permission to ask questions first, especially in Japan. Here, the status of the buyer is sky high, and it is a total impertinence for a lowly sales pond scum to be asking God questions about anything. Nevertheless, God or otherwise, get their permission and ask your intelligent questions. Find out if there is a match between what you sell and what they need. Mentally scour the walls of your gigantic solutions library, floor to ceiling, packed with possible antidotes to their business ailments, and then select the best one for the client. If there is no solution in your library, then don't try and force the square peg in the round hole. Just uh, thank them for their time and go and find someone you can help. If your solution doesn't fit, then don't waste the client's time. Keep your shtick to yourself and move on to the next prospect for whom it may be a perfect fit. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show is here to help you succeed in Japan. Subscribe on YouTube, share with your family, friends, and colleagues. Become a regular. Thank you for watching this episode, and remember to hit the subscribe button. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.dalecarnegie.com. It's awesome value, so check it out. Please leave me some feedback on YouTube. I would love to know how the show is helping and what other topics you are interested in for me to cover. Remember, I am here as a free resource to help you. So just tell me how I can help you best. You might also enjoy my weekly podcast. Look for the Leadership Japan series, the Presentations Japan series, and the Sales Japan series, wherever you get your podcasts. In episode 78, we are talking about good leader habits. Find out more about that next week. So, yoroshiku, onegai itashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you, and we've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.